Welcome back beautiful people, we are Gemma and Campbell and this week we have finally arrived back in bonnie old Scotland. After spending the last four months exploring Ireland, England and Wales, the time has come for us to head back north into our bonnie home country, ready for some Scottish winter adventures. This week you join us as we explore the Scottish borders to see just how easy it is around the central belt of Scotland. Yep, free parking! It's unheard of, to be honest, even in Scotland, I never even realised we had that. As well as show you some of the best sights that you can see. We also make a surprise visit home to ask our friends a very important question, so make sure you hang around till the end for some behind the scenes action. We should do surprises with our friends all the time. <laughs> if you want to see more of van life in Scotland and join us for our winter adventures then hit subscribe and join the gang. But for now let's check back in as we wake up just to the south of the city of Carlisle. like our Halloween decorations. Apparently it comes into October, we buy a pumpkin and then can never be bothered cooking it because it takes so much effort. So it just decorates the van. What should we call her? Poppy the pumpkin. Oh. Okay, so it's been a busy few days since we last actually spoke to you guys. I think last week we left off, we were just heading up to the NEC to go and do some talks at the show in Birmingham. It was amazing. Thank you all so much if you came along to that show and came up to us and said hi, or if you just came and watched our talks. Like, we had one of the best weeks of our life. It was so much fun just meeting everyone. Since then, we've started making our way back up north, back up to Scotland, because this week we're doing something very exciting. We've got a couple of surprises in plan. In plan? In place? Still too early. I need more coffee. Got a couple of surprises in place this Friday we're gonna go and surprise my family uh, at dinner they've got no idea we're coming we're thinking we're just gonna be sitting at the table and then they walk in we're gonna surprise hello, hello. <laughs> and then later on in the week on Sunday I believe the plan is now we're gonna get our friends together and we're actually gonna ask our best man and our bridesmaid to be just that in our wedding it's quite nerve-wracking but we're very excited for it and so guys today as we're heading north we've actually decided to spend some time around the borders because we don't need to be back into Glasgow for another couple of days yet and going by what we've done in the past it seems to be every single time we ever get to Carlisle we just make a beeline straight up for Glasgow we've not spent a lot of time exploring around the borders both north and south of the border and this part is actually full of really interesting history apparently there's this dude who made a wall a couple of thousand years ago called Hadrian we're gonna go and check that out and then there's some sites that we want to see on the way up to Glasgow Let's go as well. I'm gonna run out of space while our memberships. I know. We are suckers for a membership, but that we means. Love it. Look at our wee goodie bag. Woo! VIP baby, free parking. Today we have come to Chester's, which is one of the places that you can actually see Hadrian's Wall in this region. Now there are so many different spots, we actually had to have a good Google at where was the best place to go. And this looked like one of them for us, like we thought there's Roman baths here and you can walk out and see part of Hadrian's Wall. And of course here we've got the old Roman sheep still garden. Ah. They're cute aren't they? A wee bit soggy in the rain, bless them. <laughs> oh bless. So the thing I'm really excited to come and check out here is because of the Roman baths that are here. I'm expecting something a little bit like Pompeii. That was the last place we went to visit that had these kind of ancient ruins. And it's something I've never really thought about having in the UK here. So the fact that there's actually old ancient Roman ruins as close to Glasgow as like Carlisle just completely blows my mind. I can't believe we've taken so long to actually come and check this place out. So it's just fascinating is that this used to be a gateway between the north of the Roman Empire, such as Scotland, down into the Roman Empire itself and the Romans used to actually like basically run England. That used to be the fortification, the only fortification against the savages that used to sit north of the wall, i.e. Scotsmen. Savage. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to find some rocks, Gemma, help me. We need to try and get some rocks to rebuild the wall. <laughs> Why? Because there's two people. We need to... Oh, nothing. I definitely wasn't going to rebuild Hadrian's Wall. No? In total, we spent about two hours wandering around the site and learning about the fascinating history that it has to behold before it was time to hit the road and begin our journey north into Scotland, which of course welcomed us home in true Scottish style. Right, I think we're coming up to the border because the rain started and it's very cloudy and deep looking, so we must be entering Scotland. Is this it? I think that's the border there. Yeah, right here. Welcome to Scotland. 
Ah, we're home. Home sweet home. Can't see a thing. We have just arrived into the town of Hoyk, which sits on the Scottish borders, and we're on the lookout for some camper van facilities. Apparently there is a car park here, and there is waste water facilities for free, which is ideal. So I'm keeping a little eye out for them, I'm going to try and use them while we swing through. Yep, free parking! Whoop whoop! Maximum stay, 48 hours. That is very good. I know. And apparently I read online they even have some free van life facilities. Here, such as like waste disposal, water. It's unheard of, to be honest. Even in Scotland, I never even realised we had that. The last place we had anything like that would have been in Spain. And there's loads of vans, so I'm guessing it's over here. I just can't believe this is absolutely free. Right, I'm thinking town centre, cute, cute cafes, coffee and a cake. Whoa. What do you think? Yes. Can I team two with a cake? Oh yes, of course you can. I'll be there right now. Let's do it. <laughs> What's going on over there? Are you trying to be a ghost? <laughs> Halloween. Happy Halloween. Are you going to do a surprise where you drop that curtain and disappear? Yeah, I'm not going to drop it because it's just taking me Bit of time to get it up, but... <laughs> right, we've got a new toy that we're trying out tonight. Very excited about it, been wanting one of these forever. So much so that we were actually going to do a date night tomorrow. I mean, do you want to say all that again when you're actually... Oh no! Oh no! I mean, I need to, no, I need to do that to actually get past. You just need to bend I'll down. I'll just stand on this side of the, sh the bed sheet. <laughs> you just need to bend down. Alright, right, well it's done now. Ruined. <laughs> it's not going to work anyway. It's you, up. Right. You need white. Why? Because you won't be able to see it on this pattern. It's no pattern. Yeah, it's, Come it's, on. it's, it's blue and white. Come on. The den. Oh, I get you. Yeah, I mean, but it's still not, it's still not to, straight, though. I know. I need something to hang it up here. Anyway, our new gadget that we're going to check out. A BenQ Whoa. projector. Yeah. Woo! I think that'll work. Should we test it? On. Do we need to move it closer? What do we think, guys? Like, maybe, because, <laughs> I mean, this isn't ironed at all. <laughs> I mean, I, th I, I mean, it's like, yeah, it's a bit bum food, but it's still cute. Yeah, I'd say it's better just onto that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, much better. So, date night was supposed to be tomorrow night, but we were just walking back there from the little cafe and we were like, how nice would it be to just like get all cozied up, try out our projector tonight, and just go and grab a pizza for dinner? Good night, guys. <laughs> We decided to get up and away from that spot quite early. As you can see, I'm still very much cozied up in my jammies, haven't yet been in the shower. Um, we heated the water up, all ready to go, and then I checked the weather and it said it was going to rain this afternoon. So I thought, well, we might as well get out, go on this hike that we've been wanting to do and have a shower and all that later. So we're on the road. You can tell we are back in Scotland because it is super, super foggy and the colours are beautiful. It's just so beautiful, so beautiful. I forget how much I love this time of year, to be honest. That is magic. I swear it's even like more vibrant than it was yesterday. It is, isn't it? I mean, it's just so quiet as well. We've just pulled in, going to admire the view for a little bit, but we've been driving for about an hour now. Oh, I'm passing and I think two cars. Past two cars. This is just like, if you're wanting to visit Scotland at like a very, very beautiful time of year, this is definitely one. October. The colours are just like nothing you would see really anywhere else. It's gorgeous. The rain is just starting now, but we've come out just to enjoy how peaceful it is here. All you can hear is like the water trickling on the shoreline from the loch. We've been driving for about an hour and honestly past like two or three cars. It's so, so quiet and there's just nobody else around. It is absolutely beautiful. And the reason I love Scotland, to be honest. I just forget how amazing it is at this time of year. I always feel like I come off the back of summer and I'm just like, oh, I just like enjoy that like outdoor warmer weather, I guess. Um, but it is so beautiful at this time and I guess it's just like 
going with the flow as the seasons change and leaning into it and embracing it because it is absolutely beautiful. You need to find a tense skimmer. When the water's looking that good, you can't not skip stones. Go on then, you still got it? Still got it. Woo! That was massive. <laughs> All right, back on the road. Oh, babe. This is not a vibe. It's a joke that as soon as you cross the border into Scotland, you start rain it starts raining, but it's a joke because it happens every single time. I don't know if we've ever crossed. Uh, into Scotland and it's not been raining. It's hilarious. Oh, it's just... It's very soggy today, man. I don't know if it it's is. a day for going up on a hike. So basically we're at Greymere's Tail, which is like a waterfall uh, just to the north of Moffat. Um, it's supposed to be one of the best waterfalls in Scotland. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful. But it takes about an hour to hike up to it. And it's about, I think it's like a, yeah, a two and a half hour round trip. Yeah. And there is actually a loch right at the top. There's a picture over there called Loch Skeen. Mm -hmm. We're thinking maybe if we could hike up to it and go for a swim in there. But it's just soggy, man. I think it's actually we would be hiking into the clouds as well. So. There's not much, not much point. It looks like there's maybe oh. a viewpoint over there. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put my boots out. on. I'll go run over there, see if I can see the waterfall from there. I suppose I'd better get used to wearing this again. So that's Loch Skeen there. That, that basically just sits up the top of that hill. I think it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to hike up to it. But I do see a little path to the right. You go across a bridge. I'm thinking maybe I can spy the waterfall from there. If you want to actually get up to the waterfall itself, you need to take the left path and that kind of takes you up and into the mountain. On a clear day though, this place would be absolutely stunning. Oh, there she is there, just coming into view. Wow, that is pretty spectacular. I believe she's actually one of the tallest waterfalls in the UK. And that is just, what a beautiful location, man. Wow. Hi there, I was wondering if you had any calor gas in stock. We've got a six kilogram bottle of propane that we need to replace. Yeah. Perfect. All right, I'll be along in a few minutes then. Thank you very much. Cheers, bye. Are you going to do it? I feel like a big flump because do you know what? I'm still, I'm still actually wearing this snood because I thought, well, I'll just go for a shower after I've had my walk. And we obviously haven't gone for a walk and we just keep driving on so I still haven't been in the shower yet And um, yeah, this big snood just makes me feel like a big marshmallow I went out this morning to top up the water and obviously one person just arrived just as I went out Dressed like this Hi there, uh, I was wondering if I could book a table for uh, six adults and two children for Sunday at 5pm please you sure can, yeah, one second Thank you Perfect. So that was for six adults and two kids. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Right, so that is dinner sorted for Sunday. We're going to go and surprise our friends. It's all coming together. And I feel like a bit of an evil genius. This is so much fun. I love it. We should do surprises with our friends all the time. I just can't wait to see their faces when we arrive, they're not expecting us and we just rock up. Hiya! I love it because I feel like we are, like they're the ones really with the hard work, like Erin and Ian, both the partners, like they're the ones with the hard work to try and like convince them to like go and do it. to this place. And we're just the puppet masters. We're just like, yeah, you should do this. And it's like, oh my God, how am I going to convince them? But <laughs> oh, it's so I'm much buzzing. fun. I'm buzzing. Oh, you can go and fix that shower curtain is what you can do. Oh. The ghost up the back of the van there. The number of times I've almost done that. The bloody haunted van. Ooh. Spooky. And before we head home, we're going to go and check out this place where we can stay overnight in the van, which is just north of Glasgow. And we don't actually tend to really stay in the van around Glasgow. We don't really know what facilities there are, but this looks like it's going to be a really good spot. We read about it online and we're going to show you around. So if you ever want to come to Glasgow, you'll have somewhere to stay. We're just driving along and just looking at all these autumn colours. I feel like I am always like almost fearful for the summer to end, feeling like the cold weather is like coming in. I mean, fearful may be a strong word, but you know what I mean? It's always a bit like, oh gosh, it's gonna get cold. But actually just these autumn colours are really beautiful. And I mean, we're only 20 minutes north of the city centre of Glasgow. And we're just driving through beautiful countryside. Someone's got a wee fire going out there outside their house. It's so remote. 
just absolutely beautiful. I want that house. There's a big lock in right next to it and everything. That is amazing, isn't it? You've got a spare million pounds. Oh. I reckon that's easily touching on a million. That is amazing. Huge. That's got to be like a hotel or something as well. I mean, we're really happy with Ellie at the moment, happy living in the van, but I feel like one day we might want a little base to settle down, but we kind of have things that we ideally would like to have, I guess, when we buy a house, like, close-ish to an airport. Um, I think it would definitely be in Scotland. Yes. I think that's easy to say. I think it will, well, it will be in Scotland. I think we know that now. Yeah, we have, like, little factors. Like, we kind of want to be quite close to family, um, but we want to be remote as well. I feel like that's a good shout. I had no idea that this place existed, man. That is gorgeous. Cute. Here we are. Woo! West oh. Highland Way, Holland Hotel and Campsite. I did not know. Is this on the West Highland Way? Really interesting concept. I'm excited to tell you about what we read online about this place, but I've never heard of anything like it before. I think we've just arrived in heaven. Guys, to be honest, this is bizarre. Absolutely there bizarre. Dogs everywhere. Look at all these doggies. Oh, and look at that. Belly rubs. There you are. You're beautiful. Yeah. Paws up. Alright, so basically, we're just sitting there chatting with the owner who's called Andrew, and he is an absolutely incredible. Lovely, lovely guy, um, very eccentric, but yeah, he's good fun. And he was just basically explaining this to us. It's like a hotel and a campsite. It was twenty pounds a night, I think he quoted it as. Um, but if you are in full time in your van, just go and chat to him. He might be able to work out a bit of a deal for you. And then yeah, he just said there's no no kind of hidden quirks or anything like that. You've got water, waste. I think he even said because they run by solar, you can do an electric hook up here as well for no additional cost. There's restaurant. We've got a restaurant, restaurant and they've got four beautiful dogs. Like, yeah, very beautiful dogs. They were good fun, weren't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, and a nice fireplace inside. And it's just, you can just go in and sit by the fire if you want to. So we're going to go and find a place to park up. And it's actually looking like it's going to be a lovely night as well. And uh, we've got our own little bag of firewood still from when we were in Wales. So it could be a little fire pit. Sounds Maybe a projector good. outside. Sounds good to me. This place is brilliant. Some camera. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Oh good, I can smell the fire out here. Mmm, look at all these autumn colours. Oh my goodness. This is amazing guys. <laughs> this place is so cool. Alright, so we just somehow need to find a way to mount this bed sheet on the side of the van so that we can project onto it because unfortunately on our van there's no kind of like big white space that you can just like mount a projector onto. Get a little bit creative here. Do you want to turn the fairy lights on? Yeah. Hey! What about this for a setup? I mean, motorhome life still does the job at being a cool, snazzy little van, doesn't it? With a projector outside. It is like so cold out here. I think we'll be getting our big jackets on like we did last time when we were in Wales, but I'm loving this new setup. Get the projector out, bed sheet up in the van, fresh air, and I think some stars are going to be coming out tonight. What a good night. Aye, aye, aye. It is going to be a long winter. I can't get the heating on, and I don't know why. We had it on for about 10 minutes earlier before we went outside. The van was like really, really cold, but... Why is it not working? It's not working! And I know we've been saying for ages about how we really want to get a different heating system, but I think this might be the year. Oh. What are you doing? I have no idea. 
just trying to see if this is not turning or something. That's why it's not working. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man. We were having such a nice relaxing night before I tried to turn the heating on. Because no. it's going to be cold. Well, what's the both because it is. We don't even sleep with the heating on or anything, but it's just nice to actually like put it on first thing in the morning and anything. Because otherwise, we can't get out of bed because it is like frozen in here. Could be worse. Could be in a tent. This is going to be a long winter. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't have the best sleep. Uh, I think it's going to take a little bit of acclimatising just to get used to van life in winter again. My ears almost fell off and I had to sleep with my whole head beneath the duvet. Actually, what temperature did it get down to last night? So, you know, this was something I was very interested to check out this winter is um, we installed the internal temperature sensor in summer. So let's see what we got down to last night. Okay, it didn't even record it. I don't know if it's too cold. It literally went down to 10.8 and then just cut off. Oof. Still love how much love this kettle gets in the comments section. Like, this kettle is as old as me. My dad got it before I was born in Switzerland. Still going strong. There we are. A wee shower. I need to turn the light on. I'm not gonna have to shower in the dark. Perfect. Oh man, those showers are okay. Good. Time to get packed up. Okay, yeah, this is becoming a occurrence. I think it's the cold weather. I think so. We need a new battery. I'd say today, yeah. to be honest. Oh man. The annoying thing is, I did actually buy a booster jumper pack. Yesterday. Yesterday, and it's going to be arriving with us today. Do you think I can just ask Amazon to deliver it to you? <laughs> we need to do some serious winter prep for Ellie, because yeah. she is not ready for winter. Now we already have a pretty busy day because today we want to go and get some brunch in a local town and then we're going to go and surprise my parents tonight so we need to go and get organised for that. So it's lucky that we did actually try it as early as this we didn't wait till later. I think a trip to Halfords is on the cards as well today to be honest with you lads. So we're just going to head down into the little town of Strathblane now I actually saw online there's a cute little cafe down there so we're going to go and get some brunch and eat food because I'm hungry. So I think this cost about six or seven quid and that was seven pounds fifty. Very affordable. Well, that was just lovely. Food was incredible, staff were really nice and friendly, drinks were good, cosy little place and we found out they're dog friendly. So I think when we come home we'll definitely be taking some more trips to there. It's called Coffee at the Wilsons in Blainfield and it's just a lovely little area, cute little village. We'll be back. Any luck? No. You wouldn't have put them in the wardrobe, would you? No, 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 no. 
<laughs> if it's not one thing, it's the next, isn't it? I'm trying to find one of Gemma's shoes to go on a walk. And I'm like, we can only find one of the hiking boots. Did I leave it on the roof last night? Surely not. Surely I wouldn't have left a shoe on the roof. In some ways, I kind of hope you have, because if you have, then we I might mean, have a not, chance of finding it. If I've it. not, then I've got no idea where I've put it. But... Well, can I just say, this is why I always carry extra of everything. <laughs> in case I put your shoes on the roof. In case you, I don't know, chuck it out. How's that happened? <laughs> oh, I didn't think I'm that much of a space cadet that I would have left a shoe on the roof. Five minutes later. <gasps> it is. That is it. Oh yeah. my God. Right, you that is it. Oh, that's it! I'm sure! Oh, I'm coming! Oh my god! What are the chances of that? The chances of that! Oh my goodness! You left it on the roof! We've actually driven, what, about five kilometres since then? Uh -huh. Been to have breakfast, and then we've driven to here. About another two kilometres after breakfast, and then it fell off the roof. <laughs> Not, even Not even on a bend. Not even on a bend. Well, at least you got it back. And hopefully we didn't give people more reason to eat more homes for walking the, walk the road to pick up a shoe. Well, I'm chuffed. To be honest, that I got that back and it's still in one piece. It's not even squashed. It looks like people have been driving around it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's good. At least we don't need to go all the way back in search of it. I know. We just tuck ourselves in yeah, here right. and park. Do you think we park over here? Oh, yeah, and they're not going to see it here. Okay, now the struggle is we need to try and park the van somewhere at my local train station, somewhere that my parents aren't going to see. Um, the most giant vehicle in the world <laughs> when they're getting the train themselves because we're heading in early. But yeah, if we park her here, we should be all right because like, they're so. going to be up there. Yeah. They're not going to see down to here. No chance. Yeah, so that's the platform up there. And Ellie's sitting tucked in there. Should be good. Okay, and it's also that time of the month um, for the haircut. So here we go. Car park barber shop. Let's do it. Hi, mate. Exciting little day. We actually just stopped off um, at a shopping centre. We went in and did a little bit of work. And then... Um, <laughs> Somehow ended up leaving with putting a deposit down on a wedding ring. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. We just walked past one of the jewellers and I saw there was like 50% and I said to Campbell, I was like, oh, it's 50% off. I ended up with a glass of Prosecco. I ended up with a selection of different rings. And I'm really buzzing because I was honestly thinking at one point that I just wasn't going to find something that really wowed me. And I tried this one on and we were both just like, that is really stunning. That's the one. So they're going to get it in my size and next week we're going to try it on. It's exciting. So now we've got reason to go in and have a drink to celebrate. Yeah, let's go get a wee vino whilst we wait to surprise everyone. Right, let's get ready. Quick. Cheers. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> Sorry, mum and dad. <laughs> Five or more. Oops. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, surprise number two is underway. Got some cards to write and a pint of liquid courage to keep us going. We've arrived about two hours early and the plan is we're gonna drop the things behind the bar. The bar staff have very kindly um, come along on our plan with us. We've changed our table of eight to two ta three tables, one of four, two of two. And then all we need to do is send through the itinerary to Erin, who is Malcolm's wife, girlfriend, and Ian, who is Pamela's fiance. And then it's a goal, basically. They're gonna arrive five o'clock three separate tables and then we'll just take it from there, I think. I'm excited that I'm also so nervous. I know, so much can go wrong, but <laughs> fingers crossed all goes to plan. It's a little bit of fun and it's fine and you just... No? You don't know what's going on. No. It's not just...